you want to drive your audience to your social media or just let them know that you have one. My name is Murray. I'm going to show you how to do that. Make it look all professional with the animation with your social media icons flying into the screen and then flying out automatically without having to press the button every so often minutes. So it's going to happen automatically every five to eight minutes or whatever you choose. And I'm going to show you how to do it without Photoshop for free. Um, and I'm going to show you how to set the whole thing up in Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. All of that and more. But first, intro. Okay, so if you don't want to make your own panels or social media icons or whatever, you can just go to nerdordie.com and you can use their tool to customize your own one without having to know After Effects or Photoshop or whatever. So you can create these in literally minutes. You can customize the color, the logo and what it says and just name it and you can download it. There's another one where you can do another Overwatch theme one, which I mean, you don't even have to play Overwatch to have these, but there are two different ways of doing it. And you can customize the color of the text, everything, name it and download it here as well. I'll leave both these links in the description so you can check these out and create your own if you want to. There's also a ton of other free stuff from Nerd or Die. That's also pretty cool. By the way, not sponsored. Now, one quick note I would say is that make sure you don't make these pop up too frequently. I usually have between five minutes or eight minutes, eight minutes being a bit better um, between the times of when these pop up on screen just to make the experience a little cleaner and a little less distracting. And also one quick thing, just be sure to use Chrome to do this because I've seen in the comments down here that some people have had issues with using different browsers. So just use Chrome just to avoid any issues. Um, I know that Chrome works well for it. Okay, so we're going to start in Premiere Pro, even if you want to edit these in After Effects. The reason being is because when you render out a transparent or see-through background with your video, Premiere Pro is going to do it much better than After Effects will. Premiere Pro renders alpha channels way better than it does After Effects, or at least After Effects creates huge files. Video files from Premiere Pro are also more compatible with a lot of other software. So for example, when you play your videos in VLC Media Player, if you play an AVI file with an alpha background from After Effects, sometimes it can be a little jerky or it can freeze sometimes. With Premiere Pro, it plays it out pretty smoothly without any issues. So I'm going to show you how to do these both ways. So I'm going to start out in Premiere Pro, no matter what software I want to do my editing in. So I'm going to create a new sequence here and I'm just going to do DSLR and I'm going to just do 1080p. If you have a stream that's doing like 60 frames per second at 1080p, then maybe I'll go with 60 frames per second. So I'll select that and I'll just go to the settings and I'll just change it to 60 frames per second. I'm going to leave it at 23 frames per second just because I'm used to that. But try and, you should try and keep it at the same frames per second as everything else. In fact, I'm going to stick with 30 because that's usually what I stream at right now on Twitch. Just because my internet can't handle 30 right now. So then I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And I've got my 1920 by 1080 project set up here at 30 frames per second. Next I'm going to do is just create a black video. I'm going to do OK. I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to make it... How long should I make it? Let's say eight minutes. And then I'm gonna drag the black video out all the way there so that my timeline is eight minutes long right over here. Now the reason why I wanna do eight minutes is because I don't want my social media icons to pop up more frequently than that. I don't wanna make it distracting. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on it and assuming that you want to do this in After Effects, you're going to right click on it and create a replace with After Effects composition. If you want to do the editing right in Premiere Pro, if you're more comfortable with it, you can totally do that. The principles that I'm going to be doing in After Effects, those are going to reflect back into Premiere Pro in regards to editing. Some people are more comfortable editing in After Effects than they are in Premiere Pro. But if you prefer Premiere Pro, do your editing in here. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm just going to replace with After Effects composition and it's going to show up in After Effects. I've already imported my footage here, so all I'm gonna do is hide the solid. I'm gonna drag in my social media icons, just like that, and you can see my social media icons here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them appear towards the end because I want eight minutes or almost eight minutes to go by before anything shows up. And then I'm just gonna select each one and let's just say that I want them to appear down at the bottom here. So once I'm happy with their position, I'm just gonna select them all 
hold shift and I'm gonna press P for position. I'm gonna click on the stopwatch so that they create a keyframe. I'm gonna drag them forward and then I'm just gonna take them down out of frame. Next I'm gonna do is just easy ease them with F9. Go into my graph editor. I'm gonna zoom in pressing the plus on my keyboard. Just gonna select the bottom here and I'm just gonna drag them out and just kind of give them some some motion so they come in quickly and then they slow down as they get towards the end of the position so that they come in quick and they kind of ease in so then i'm just going to go back into my main composition here and uh, if i just take a look here we zoom in a bit it's taking a bit a long bit of time because it's a huge composition here so i'm just going to drag these to the beginning and you can see they kind of come in like that so let's say i wanted to stagger them a bit you don't have to but i'm going to do that so stagger them as they come in and let's just say that i want them to appear like that and then they're on screen for a certain period of time so once they have them in i'm just going to let them go stay up there for a bit and then i'm not going to have it for too long but then i'm going to create a keyframe for each one i'm going to go ahead and time a bit and i'm just going to copy the keyframes or actually the first keyframe here and i'm just going to copy those keyframes Control c Control v and so then they come in and then they go out and so let's say i want to stagger them just to make it a little more interesting and uh, they're going to come in a different orders but let's just pretend i'm happy with that and then they kind of go out at the end of that so if i just zoom out i'm just going to select them all and i'm going to take them towards the end of the composition so just like so so they stay up and then they go out okay so let's say i'm happy with that so i'm just going to go back into premiere pro it's going to update in real time so it's going to be at the end here and you can see it does its thing if i just play it here you'll see that it comes in nice and slow and you can speed it up or slow it down whatever you want and they stay up and then they go back out so let's say we're happy with that it's going to be at the end of eight minutes here so these titles are going to come in every eight minutes so you can do it quicker or faster, whichever way. So I'm going to show you how to render this out with Control M. You can just go into File and render it out. I'm going to click on the... I'm going to go to the video codec here. I'm going to do animation because I want to be able to render it out in alpha channel. So 8-bit alpha. This is also won't be taxing on your stream software. So it's going to be nice. I'm just going to match the source here just so I have things in order. You can choose to render at maximum depth. I'm not going to do that. And you can see down here it's going to render out the 8 minutes. I'm going to go towards the end here and just make sure things are in. Yep, it seems good. Let's say I'm happy with that. By the way, you can follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of behind the scenes and things like that. Then I'm just going to select my export place. Let's just say we're going to do it over here. And let's just do example. And then we're just going to export that. Once this is exported, I'm going to show you how to set everything up in OBS so that you don't have to worry about figuring it out yourself. So once this is rendered out, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and then once you're in OBS or Streamlabs OBS, they work the same way. It's going to be the same, it doesn't matter what software you use. I'm going to click the plus or just right click and do add. And I'm just going to add a media source. And then call it whatever you want, do OK. And then I'm going to browse the file and let's just go to where I have it. There's the example. Let's open that. I'm going to click loop. I'm going to restart playback when source becomes active. The reason why I can do this is because I haven't set up the video to play a social media ad right when the video plays. So I didn't have it start right in the beginning when I had Premiere Pro. I had the social media icons all the way at the end here, not the beginning. So that's why I can check that box. But the only time that I won't check this box is if I know that I go between different scenes within eight minutes or the time that I've set for the social media icons to pop up. For example, if I have my social media icons come up every eight minutes and I know that I'm going to switch scenes before that, before that time finishes, then my screen is never going to see my social media icons because the playback restarts every time. So if you switch scenes often, don't check this box. And I'll just use a hardware decoding when available. I'll hide the source when the playback ends and I will close the file when it's inactive. So let's say I'm in a different scene and I don't have this social media icon thing happening. Let's say I'm in another scene and I don't want that to pop up. I won't add that to that scene. So I'll just close it just to make it easier on OBS. I'm going to keep the speed the same and that's pretty much all the settings I need there. So when I click OK, let's just scale this up a bit. It's in 2K, this composition, so ignore the fact that I had to scale it. You won't need to if you're doing 1080p. So with my media source, the whole video is playing right now. 
but you'll only see the social media icons in eight minutes when this pop-up comes up. And so you can either wait eight minutes to make sure it's working or you can just go into Premiere Pro, render out a shorter version. So let's go here, let's press I on the keyboard, go to the end and press O. So now in and out is set. I'm just gonna render that. Let's just do okay. Let's do it there, let's do export. And just to make sure it's all working, I'm just gonna go back into OBS. Let's just change the media source real quick. Go to the properties, go to browse. Let's click on that shorter version. Let's open that, do okay. And any minute it should pop up. There we go. So you see there's a social media icon, it's popping up. It's a little slow, obviously, but just for the sake of the example, I did that just to speed up a bit of time. But you can see it goes out again any minute now. And then it's going to replay the playback because I checked that box. So in a minute, it's going to come up again. Okay, there we go. So it pops up again. Obviously, that's way too frequent and it's going to get annoying. So then I'm just going to go to the properties again, go to the browse and choose my longer version. This one's eight minutes. Every eight minutes that video pops up. It's because it's looped. This is very important. So I have all these boxes checked because I like to check boxes, but this is this is the, the right way to do it. I'm just going to do OK. That's been updated, so now only eight, every eight minutes that's going to come through. And your social media icons are pretty much all set. Now keep in mind that you can have them pop up from any side of the screen. So let's say you want them to come from the top. Obviously, instead of doing it at the bottom, do the top. Or you can do the sides and make them smaller, kind of pop out on the side here. So your options are very limitless and you can do whatever you want. Don't feel like you have to have them all at the bottom here on huge sizes. So some pretty straightforward stuff, nothing to it, not a lot of time invested into it, 5 to 8 minutes for a pretty professional looking stream. If you guys are interested in more tutorials like this, building your own brand, streaming, visual effects, editing, filmmaking, all that kind of fun stuff, and just technology in general, consider leaving a sub, it really helped the channel out. Leave a like as well, that would really be cool, but remember, until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting.